Right, so hello, this is my uh, first attempt in a video of uh, how to do it. Obviously, Amiga's 500s have got a stupid thing sticking out the back of your PC. Computer, call it what you like. PC's wrong. Amiga, let's call it an Amiga like it's supposed to be called. Um, this is an A500 Plus, and um, I got sick of this thing hanging out the back, and you can see it got black and white, and so I decided what I'll do is I'll buy myself one of these... Um, S video mods from Retro Hacks. Smash a little piece of kit. The only thing I found is trying to mount it. And I've seen some jobs and been mounted with um, just like basically botched onto the board, two holes drilled and glued to the board. So obviously, when you're trying to do any maintenance, you've got massive leads traveling to there. This is where it's situated and it's sitting there like that. So basically, that's me motherboard. It's a bit of a contraption like a bit of Heath Robinson but it works you can see it lines up nicely at the back there for your S video and your composite um, so I also decided I didn't have anything suitable so I used the back of this this is just like well, well look at the difference now that's like well 1989 90 whatever um, so today's technology totally out of date bit of a dinosaur so I decided well what am I going to get for that 10 quid if I'm lucky so I've decided it's working like but I just, just don't need it I'm happy with that now so basically what I've had to do I've had to sort of make a little bit, bit of a plastic thing to support it and um, it's a little bit springy there so I've got a glue gun so what I intend to do is I intend to glue I don't get it on my fingers <laughs> uh, seal up down the side there and on the edge give it a bit more support I might even put a little support under the back end there the main thing is obviously when I come to wire it up, it's simple enough. I can just lift the board out, turn it over, and pick where my leads, and then fly them across and connect them to where they're supposed to be on here. Uh, I've yet to sort these out. I've had it, I've had it running temporarily, but I need to um, do a permanent job on it now. So that is how I have mounted my S Video mod to get rid of the uh, modular thing on the back. Um, that's it for now anyway. Hope you like. I'll give it a test run when I get it wired up and uh, I'll update this video. Okay. Welcome back to uh, my S video mod for the Amiga 500 Plus. Uh, should work on the 500 as well. Uh, I finally finished mounting the modulator in the corner onto the main board. And there she is. Uh, finished wiring it up. Um, that is, if you can see that, that the connections to the new modulator. Um, we go to, I've just tapped them onto the red, green, blue on the uh, on the board. Um, I guess, like you say, red, green, blue, it's analog red, green, and blue. Uh, pins three, four, and five. Uh, pin 10 is your sync signal, and pin 23 is the 5 volt plus, which you need. Which is also powering the module. So it's got SVID and composite output. So now I think it's time uh, we decided to put it all back together. Make sure it works. Well, so that's all it's back together now, and hopefully it should all be good. So, there we go, bought in. We've also got, I've got my little. 512k half a meg up the upgrade which will be going in as well with it and um, first i've got to fasten all the boards in so i'll pop the video off and uh, i'll come back to you with um the finished product and we'll power it up and see if it works thank you nice to make us back together and uh, one piece we don't want to put the makers together so i'm not bothering filmed there's the um, new rf output uh, s video and composites so what we'll do now is we'll Plug it in, wire it up, and give it a try. Power supply. Square peg it around all. <laughs> Mouse, squeaky. Mouse, it looks like the shape of a tank. I will never know. Also, ah, also, yes. Bought myself one of these little gadgets, this mini AVI 2 HDMI upscaler. Yeah, it works in a fashion way, it's not fantastic, but gets a picture on your PC screen for you. Just rip over from uh, one to the other. 
Well, that, that goes in there. That's, that's got to be powered up. Right, let's get out of here. Amazing. So there's me. I'm just using the compasses at the moment because I haven't got any um, this video cable. So I'll pop that in there. Left channel, right channel. There we go. There you go. So we're all set to go now. So all I need to do is uh, plug it in, power it up, and see what happens. Going away nicely. Make is okay. Green lights. Click, click, click. So, oh, I need to power my thing up. So let's let's get some power to the HDMI thing. So, uh, where's it gone? Drop down the back. Tell me where you got lots of gear. You got too many wires. Too many wires. So that goes in there. I'll get that right around. Surely I'm working one handed. Here we go, pop that in there, that brings that on. So now we should be wired up. Yeah. All good. Right, there's my window screen. Now let's go change the source. Source. Ta da! There she is. Now let me eager. Bang a flop. Remember these? You should remember these. Floppies. Oh, it's not a lovely sound. <sighs> Satisfied sound of a floppy was around. Sound like a song there. Yeah. Satisfied sound of a floppy going round. Hmm. Possibly, who knows? There she goes. Workbench. Happy days. So that just concludes basically. It shows that you can just quite easily mod. Change over. Back to my PC screen. Move your PC screen. Change the input. And. Hurry up. There's my Mega. I may let her mousey wousey. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh my god, it's got a ball on the bottom, wasn't it? No laser, nothing, just a ball. Yeah. Clicky click. Oh, I'll keep everything in the way. That's awful. Awful to use. <laughs> well, there we go.